Hello, everyone. Welcome to the second episode of The Bibliophiles. Today I'm going to take a look at a biopunk novel called The Wind-Up Girl by Paolo Bacigalupi. <clears throat> the setting is 23rd century Thailand. Global warming has risen ocean levels, and most, and if not all, coastal cities have to rely on seawalls and pumps like the one that the story takes place in Bangkok and um, you know <clears throat> um, gasoline has become so depleted that that now only like the ultra wealthy can afford to use it anymore and everyone else has to rely on uh, these uh, little um, wind up spring powered type vehicles like scooters or whatever <clears throat> and uh, like uh, these uh, giant mega corporations called calorie companies pretty much control the whole world's food supply. Uh, <clears throat> pretty much through like uh, bioterrorism, private armies, and spies, and stuff. Um, <clears throat> the, oh, also, uh, there are like these um, artificially built people called new people or wind ups. They're <clears throat> just there. Um, <clears throat> um, the book, the story is mostly about um, this one person named um, Anderson, who's um, working undercover at a Kink Springs factory. That's what it's called, which is uh, supposed to be like, um, like on the verge of discovering this new, or inventing this new type of wind-up spring that can hold um, like gigajoules of energy but like I said it was just a cover because he's looking for their uh, a, a hidden seed bank and um, <clears throat> yeah. you know because um, it's keeping is the corporation that he's working for called Agrigen from being able to like experiment or whatever it is um, anyway I'm like, they actually do try negotiating to get their hands on this stuff on their on their seeds so they can you know mess around with their genes and because uh, there's um, this uh, like plague that's sweeping the land and destroying food called blister rust and um, well, it's actually kind of I'll get to it um, anyway um, <clears throat> They try and uh, negotiate for their seeds, but they say no because, you know, that like the blister rust disease that I told you about is um, that was kind of created by the calorie companies, um, not on purpose really. Is um, it's like uh, something that happened when they were screwing around with the genes of various crops, and they accidentally created like this disease that's kind of killing everyone, and they want to get like this. Um, <clears throat> You want to do this, um, you know, hack the genes of the seeds from um, uh, this hidden seed bank because they think there might be like a permanent cure for this disease as opposed to just, you know, constantly looking for these little vaccinations to make their food Im or crops immune, <clears throat> which don't last for long. They think they could find a permanent cure, but they, but the Thai government doesn't trust them because. You know, something like this actually occurred before, I think it was in um, Finland or someplace, and it ended with like a lot of people dying, and, and it ended in a disaster. So nobody in the, nobody in the Thai government or anywhere really trusts <clears throat> the calorie companies, and they say no. So uh, <clears throat> Anderson is sort of sent there to uh, find the hidden seed bank, and when that doesn't work, they just decide to try and overthrow the whole government. And, he, and um, during this, he meets with uh, the, the title named Wind Up Girl, by the whose name is um, Emiko, who is uh, like a, uh, he's just like a secretary or something. I, I don't know. Um, I didn't really find. Emiko to be a really interesting or her story to be interesting because you know it's the same old uh, story that we see with you know robots all the time you know uh, the standard um, it, 
like is she like am I is she alive? Do, do, do robots have souls? Blah blah blah. Um, you know, it's just uh, it's it's not gonna deter hear it from my final score, and it's well told, but. I've heard it a lot of times before, and it's not that interesting to me, essentially. <clears throat> but overall, I found the story, or found the novel, very good, enjoyable. Um, I liked it. You know, it just, you know, the characters were, for the most part, memorable. Um, you know, the story was well written, even if some parts were done a lot before. You know, final score is still five out of five, like my last novel, uh, like my last review. But you know, for different reasons, you know, it's more introspective, more talking, and so far. But it was still a like, good, yeah. Well, um, till next time, read a book. <laughs>